These are the brains of the internet, housed in vast warehouses of computers called data centers. Every click, tap, and swipe runs through a data center somewhere. And you're sitting right now in Northern Virginia. You're right in the center of the largest data center market in the world. Stan Blackwell is head of economic development at Dominion Energy, the region's electric power company. Northern Virginia is home to more data centers than anywhere else in the world. And Blackwell says each data center draws about 30,000 kilowatts of power. So to put that in perspective, an average residential home is four kilowatts. These power-hungry buildings belong to some of the biggest names in tech, Facebook, Microsoft, Google. These companies have plans to get all their power from renewable sources. Brian Janis is Microsoft's energy manager. It's important that what we build leaves a positive legacy, um, that we don't build it on the back of fossil fuels, but rather we build it on the back of the next generation of energy technology, of wind and hydro and solar. And companies are willing to push hard to get it. Facebook helped modify state regulations so Dominion could sell the company power from several solar farms and build several more. Facebook drove that change in that new tariff and we're very happy with it. It's great for our customers. Many companies have been willing to pay a premium for renewable energy. Now, in many cases, they no longer have to as the cost of wind and solar has plunged in recent years. So when Dominion Energy submitted plans to build more gas-fired power plants to meet demand growth, Microsoft, Amazon, Apple, and seven other companies wrote to regulators saying, no, we want renewables. We just don't really see why utilities should be talking about building new fossil fuel plants that realistically may only have a useful life of a few years before their costs are significantly undercut by wind and, and solar paired with storage. Blackwell says Dominion prefers a mix of energy sources for reliability, but that may change. Theoretically, if you had very cost-effective battery technology and a lot of solar, perhaps that would displace natural gas. It's not there today. From autos to retail, major companies across the country are demanding that local authorities supply renewables or they'll build their facilities elsewhere. Alabama's Public Service Commissioner Jeremy Oden saw that firsthand. Our first solar uh, decision in the state of Alabama was based solely on the Walmart decision uh, to come in. Uh, and use solar power in the state of Alabama. When governments are not making climate change a priority, sometimes the private sector is taking the lead. Steve Barragona, VOA News.